Maybe you've heard that a teaspoon of neutron star weighs as much as a mountain. But what would happen if you put that teaspoon on the Earth? Hi everyone, astrophysicist here to answer that question. Neutron star matter is the densest stuff in the entire universe. It's really the final boss of matter. Any denser and this thing collapses into a black hole. And no one really knows what it's made of either. It's some kind of exotic particle soup for which the math has not yet been invented to describe. For safety reasons, let's put this thing out in the middle of nowhere. The danger zone of a teaspoon of neutron star matter is the radius at which its gravity is stronger than Earth's gravity. That's about 10 feet. So if you get any closer than 10 feet to this thing, you're gonna start to orbit it or you might just fall in. It gets pretty bad for you after that. Much like a black hole, you will be extremely rapidly spaghettified, which probably feels good for like the first tenth of a second, but then you die. So you're not around to witness the horrors to come. This thing, which is again, a mountain squeezed into a marble, will plummet straight through the earth, collecting material as it goes. It's gonna reach the other side because there's almost no resistance from the planet. This thing is also 10 million degrees, and it has such a high weight that the tensile strength of the Earth is just nothing in comparison. So it's gonna go all the way through, and then all the way back, and then all the way through for a very long time. Eventually, this motion will saw the Earth in half. The bad marble is about 20 feet across, and it takes 84 minutes to travel from one end of the Earth to the other. Now I actually did the math on the tensile strength of the Earth, and found that it will do this about 600 million times for a total of 100,000 years. Now, the Earth is mostly magma, so it's just gonna close up after the neutron star teaspoon passes through it, and it's not gonna split into hemispheres or anything like that. But this is still a geologically traumatic event for the planet, and every time the teaspoon gets close to the surface, it's gonna cause a volcanic hotspot, kind of like how the islands of Hawaii are a volcanic hotspot. So the ultimate fate of this teaspoon is eventually it ends up in the core, but the Earth experiences a ring of volcanic hotspots like an equator of volcanoes. Hope this helps. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time.